Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Angular 16. In this video, I will talk about very important topic called debugging and I will be using the latest Angular version called Angular 16. What most people do is they add console log statements and to see the output, they go to the browser. In the console window, they see the output over here. But the same thing we can do directly in VS Code. We can add breakpoints. We can see the output of the console log statements directly in the VS Code. First of all, to see the outputs of the different statements, let's say that this is the project that I have actually created the tutorial of in the last video, CRUD application, which is basically a note taking app. So I'll be using this project as an example to show you how we can debug our Angular code. Let me first go inside and run this project. Okay, so npm run start and I will be adding few console log statements over here. So this is the on submit function. And whenever a new node gets added, uh, we actually trigger this function like this. All right. So let's go to the browser and refresh this page. And here you can see that I'm able to add a new node. If I click on it, you can see new node is added, but the console log statement directly added over here as well. But if I go back, you can see that I can see the console log output directly over here as well. And the extension that I'm using to see these output is called the console ninja. You can install that extension. Let me go and show you. So this is the extension console ninja that you can install. Uh, if you want to know more about the best Java, uh, best uh, VS code extension. Uh, you can check out my video on uh, top of five VS code extension for developers. Uh, I've given the link of that video in the description of this video. All right. So let's come to the actual point that how we can add the debuggers directly in VS code. Like if I hover over it, we can see that we can add the red dot over here. And uh, what if we want to stop the execution of program to see the output of different variables at uh, 20 different places in our code? Is it a good practice uh, to add the console log statements on all those multiple places? No, we have to stop the execution of program using the breakpoints. All right. So in order to run the debugger directly in VS Code, let's say that I want to stop the execution here. I want then to stop the execution here and then I want to stop execution over here. All right. After I click on this add new note button. All right. So what I do is whenever we create a new angular 16 project, we are given with this folder dot VS code on the left side. If I click on it, I will see this launch.json file uh, in other frameworks of JavaScript like vanilla JavaScript react view. Uh, we can have uh, this uh, VS code and the launch.json file we can create manually, but Angular automatically creates this folder and this file. And inside this launch.json file, we can see it contains an array with the name configuration. It contains two configurations, one for running the project using npm run start. And we can see that uh, the project we are actually running currently is on this port uh, localhost colon 4200. So we don't need to make any change to it. We can change the name of it, but uh, it's uh, uh, better to leave everything else like this. Okay. We can add as much configuration as we want, depending upon what kind of project we have. I've already created a video debugging uh, react in VS code, debugging node express in VS code, debugging server side components in VS code. You can check that out if you want to learn uh, debugging uh, code in VS code in react next.js node express mongodb all right so now if i go to this icon run and debug uh, you will see that uh, i'm given with the create a launch.json file if you are not able to see this vs code folder you can create this folder by going over here and click on the create a launch.json file but in this case i've already have this folder so why it is not detecting this uh, folder dot vs code and launch.json file the reason is that i'm using the uh, directly open multiple folders in vs code so i need to directly open this folder 9.crud app directly in vs code so now you can see that I have directly opened 9.crud app in VS code and this is the angular project structure. Let me go into the component notes form and uh, let me add the breakpoint over here. Uh, I want to add breakpoint here, here and then here. All right. 
so now if i go to this debugger icon and you will see that it will now show this variables tab watch call stack and different breakpoints that i've added in the code and this is what we see in the chrome browser as well okay so now if i go to the drop down i can see two configurations are already added that i just showed you if i go over here these are two configurations with the name ng serve and ng test we actually need to trigger this ng serve configuration because it is actually using the url localhost colon 4200 this is the url of our angular project okay so let's go over here let's uh, select a particular configuration ng serve and i will click on this green icon over here all right so let's click on it so when i click on this green icon you will see that another window will get opened automatically we don't need to run the project separately this debugger will automatically run the npm run start command and it will start running but we don't need to open up the browser this new browser will be automatically opened so it's actually adding the debugger along with the code so currently you can see that it has been added let's go over here and see that we have these debuggers already added the breakpoints okay so i'm going to add a new note over here so let's try to add the title and the content and now if i click on this add new note you will see that the execution of program will stop here so what is the benefit of stopping execution here on the left side we can see that the all the variables which are available on this particular scope of this function are visible over here currently we can see that this is available over here this function so all the variables which are available you can see is added it is available we can see that um, what is the current value of is added which is equals to false okay and uh, we have other functions as well like the node form what other functions included in the node form so the benefit of debugger is along with printing out the values using the console log we can check all the variables which are existing in this particular scope where this program is currently running at on this line of javascript okay so now we can actually hover over it and we can see all the variables exist within the node form variable this dot node form because i'm hovering over the node form variable all right i can hover over the invalid and you can see that it is returning the false all right so it is quite beneficial now on the top right corner you can see that we have this toolbar that we can use this is very important so the first icon which is a, a continue icon if i click on it it will stop at the it will um, resume the execution of program from this point and it will stop the execution program wherever the next breakpoint exists all right so let's see what happens so now if i click on it you can see that uh, this is where it has stopped because i added the breakpoint over here now i can hover over any line of code above to see what is the current value of different variables let's say that i want to hover over the note and now you can see that the note contains these values and this is how we can debug whether the values are coming right wrong where the problem and where the error existing in our code on the left side you can see that the variable node will also gets visible okay earlier it was not visible because this line was not getting executed at that point when this line was getting uh, executed okay so on the left side we can see the call stack uh, call stack means that uh, we have a stack of all the functions which are being executed in this component so it maintains the stack and it really helps in debugging so let's talk about the other points next uh, icon over here is the step over step over means that uh, it will stop the execution of program over here actually resume the execution and where it will stop the execution of program on the next line of code uh, wherever it needs to stop so currently i'm assuming that if i hover over is added it, it's false so i think that it will not stop over here so it should stop over here even though i have not added any breakpoint on this line okay so let's click on it and now you can see that without breakpoint it stopped the execution of program on the very next line uh, of the execution of program okay uh, all right i hope that you have got an idea now let's talk about the other two options so currently we can see that this is the step into 
and this is the step out step into that if the it is a function where the execution has stopped and this function is being written in any other file currently i have this service file and in that service file i have created this create node function okay if i want to go into that function uh, without actually adding the breakpoint in this create node function let me show you here you can see this is the create node i have not added any breakpoint so step into means that i want to go inside that function to see and uh, what the value is being passed to that i can hover over the node so i can debug that this is the value being passed to it so let's go and step into that function so here you can see guys it is actually stepped in let's validate and debug what's coming in the node uh, so the correct value is coming in the node that's fine and uh, i can actually uh, see the length yes and i can actually see there is no node currently added let's uh, go to the next line yes uh, by clicking on this icon step over and now i can see the new node have been added with the id zero now and uh, let's go to this let's see now you can see that the nodes array have been updated because of this push and uh, let's let's go and click on this so i can actually click on the step out to get back to that component or i can click on the step over uh, and it will stop on this line let's go out of this file by clicking on the step out all right now it has gone back from where it uh, got into um, this file and now it has stopped over here all right and uh, it is will now reset our uh, form and if i go over here you can see that currently it's not being shown up because this line is not executed currently so let's click on it uh, after this function there is no breakpoint in my code so it will not stop anywhere if i click on it you can see that it will not stop anywhere that's why the variable window on the left side watch window call stack is not showing anything and if i click on it you can see that uh, this new node have been added and if any error occurred during this process we can obviously check all the values by by writing and you can see that by clicking on this um, breakpoints stepping into stepping out step over we can validate each and every variable the values coming inside where is it going if i uh, just click on the step into on this function it should actually go into that function we can validate whether it goes to that function or not if it is not going into that function there is an error so this is this is a kind of debugging we want that we cannot do or it is very hard to do using this console log statement okay so now i have uh, i think you have understood how we can run debugger and also we have another window here debug console uh, let me go ahead and stop the execution of program again to show you so now you can see that let's stop on this next line uh, and we have this debug console window and here we can see the console window just like the browser console window that all the values available currently are being showing over here i can write something over here let's say that the note i can hit enter i know that on this function i'm stopping here so the all the ab above variables i can use and i can see what are the values existing inside it i can manipulate it i can uh, write my own logic using this node so let's say that uh, uh, during the execution it will not affect the ui but it is just for my testing just like we do in the browser console window let's say that i want to create a new property let's say that um, an uh, uh, image okay uh, equals to and i can write anything to it dot png hit enter and now let me print the note and now you can see that i'm able to um, add a new property to it just like um, it's just like a javascript compiler in the debug console window it is not affecting this note property uh, uh, on the ui or in the in the db actually but uh, it is we want to actually if want to modify a particular object uh, on the runtime we can build up the formula in the debug console and we can 
add that formula directly in our code. So we don't need to go to the browser console window and add up, start writing code over here um, and uh, see the output. And we can actually, uh, it's not actually stopping in the browser. That's why uh, this note is not available. So it's quite a, a good way to actually debug your code. And I hope that you have got an idea how we can add breakpoints. If you have got an idea, if you have learned something new, do subscribe my channel, hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.